Tonight we're learning more about a shooting at a rail runner station which left a train with a shattered back window. Officials say it was a 12 year old boy who pulled the trigger. News 13's Candace Hopkins reports. Candace? Alex, the rail runner runs along nearly 100 miles of track. Officials say while they're always working to improve safety and never expect to see their trains targeted, their staff can't be everywhere. Anytime anybody certainly fires a gun at the train or throws any kind of projectile, um, that's a serious offense. And rail runner officials say things like that have been happening way too often. The latest incident last night. A bullet struck the rear window of a rail runner train as it was entering the Kiwa station on Santo Domingo Pueblo. It can be a very uh, disruptive event for people on a train to see somebody, you know, shooting, pointing a gun in their direction, let alone to have a projectile actually hit the train while they're in it. An engineer operating the train was right next to the rear window that was hit. Passengers told staff they saw a child pointing a gun at the train. All train windows have bulletproof glass, and officials say despite what it looks like, this one did stop the bullet. But they add, the distraction alone could have been dangerous. Our engineers have signs, just like we do when we drive, that tell them certain things that they need to do along a 100-mile corridor, and they have to pay very uh, close attention to those signs. In recent months, the rail runner has had to worry about other harrowing situations, like people wandering near the tracks, like this toddler back in May and people putting stuff on the tracks like this pinata. While officials say they're working on stepping up safety, like adding more gates at crossings, it's impossible to have eyes everywhere. We can't have somebody at every crossing or every mile marker, and so it is a challenge. A 12-year-old boy was taken into custody in connection with the shooting because this happened on tribal land. The Bureau of Indian Affairs is investigating, and officials say federal charges could be filed. Back to you, Alex. All right, Candace, thanks. After a safety inspection, that train did eventually continue north on its route.